This is Corporate Barbie reporting live from the studio. If I don't do this now, I fear I may never will. The time has come to introduce myself, the makeup analyst, to whomever or whatever is watching these videos. I am the makeup analyst, and you may be wondering, why has this person popped up on YouTube suddenly out of nowhere? Well, I am here to explain the why, and while I do that, I will be creating an eye look with the Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes, which is a fairly new-ish release. I have all the notes written in this notebook, and I stole a pen from Bay. Bay, if you're watching this, I will return this to you. Okay? Don't fret. This is probably the only pen we have between the two of us. Okay. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am the makeup analyst. That is the only name I will be known for on this platform. Background-wise, I have an educational background in finance, accounting, and audit. I also have a professional background in those disciplines. I have worked with the big five banks in Canada, the big four consulting firms, and government authorities. When I talk about business practices or financial or accounting matters, I kind of know what I'm talking about. During the pandemic, I decided to pursue my love for makeup and I enrolled to become a makeup artist. I am currently in training and hopefully I want to be able to do that full time one day. Now let's get into the reasons of why I created my YouTube channel while I put on some eyeshadow. I'm wearing pink, but this eyeshadow palette is so green heavy. So we're gonna do a combination of everything, anything. That's how I like to do my makeup, not overthink it. Let's go in with this shade right here. So the first reason I started my YouTube channel is to have a place where I can express myself, basically. Authenticity is very important to me. I grew up in a culture that was very restrictive of women. Women were only allowed to wear a certain kind of clothing, behave a certain way, have a certain belief system. There wasn't a lot of choice for self-expression and deviance was not really tolerated. Let's put it like that. I moved to Canada a few years ago, which is where I'm currently based right now. And obviously Canada being the tolerant country it is, I've had a very good experience being here so far. And I thought it was just time to express myself, say things that are on my mind. And this channel is going to be serving as an outlet for that. The purple is looking nice and purpley. Let's go in with this one. Another reason I started this channel is because I want to have a legacy. Once I'm gone, I want this content to stay here so it can be helpful to whomever is watching in any way. There are many reasons people watch YouTube. Sometimes it's just for entertainment. Sometimes they're going through a hard time and the things that other people say can be very helpful. Whether it be product reviews that help you shop or provide just entertainment or make you feel like a friend is talking to you like some of my viewers have said to me about my videos. I think these videos can be helpful in many ways to many people. That is an important reason to me. Another reason that is very important to me is to add some diversity to the conversation. What do I mean by that? A lot of people in the beauty community have very similar makeup tastes, very similar opinions. They identify very strongly with one single culture and they have a certain way of viewing things. 
and I feel like people from different backgrounds, people with different makeup preferences, they can really contribute and I don't see a lot of those people. So I just wanted to hop on here and say things that maybe not a lot of other people are saying. So that is another good reason as any to start a YouTube channel. Some makeup preferences of other people that I come across fairly frequently is that they hate pastels, which I love pastels. They hate large eyeshadow palettes. I enjoy large eyeshadow palettes. They hate rosy fragrances. I'm sensitive to scents, but the only fragrances that I seem to enjoy are with rosy notes in them. They want depth in their eyeshadow palettes and I, I don't really care for dark eyeshadow. They want dewy skin, they want to have a clean girl aesthetic, and I relate to none of those. I'm often quite surprised at how different my makeup preferences are to those in the larger beauty community here in North America, and I just thought it might be interesting for other people like me to see someone represent them as well. Since there is a majority of those people that have a certain type of preferences that I mentioned, they are more likely to influence brands to create the kind of product that they want, you know, neutral eyeshadows or skin tints or lip oils or all these things that I personally don't find that interesting. So I just thought it would be nice for me to have my voice heard as well. Another very important thing that some people would have mentioned first and foremost is the fact that not many people who look like me are actively involved in the beauty community. Some, yes, but not many. In fact, you know what confirmed this for me? Last summer, I went into a Sephora and I decided to swatch a lot of foundations so I can have my right shade and buy it when I want. I went through so many different brands and for most brands I couldn't find my shade. So there was a lot of shade for fair skin tones, quite a lot of shades for deeper skin tones, but medium to tan skin tones. Some brands actually had shades that jumped from a light shade to a pretty dark shade and there was nothing in between. And that was pretty disappointing. I felt ignored by beauty brands who didn't acknowledge that people of my skin tone exist. People like me have more of a neutral undertone and you don't see that done too well either. In fact, most of the foundations that I have are one or two shades too light for me. I don't like going too dark because there's a chance when you buy a lighter foundation it can oxidize to a little bit of a deeper shade but if it's already too dark how are you going to fix that? So I digress but that is an important reason for me to be able to add to the conversation and say that yes people like me exist and you need to make complexion products that suit our skin tones as well. FYI, I also want to state my skin type for anyone who's wondering. I have a dry skin type and it can become dehydrated in winter months. Let's apply this to the eyelid. Clearly this video is less about the makeup and more about the introduction. So I'm just doing a very simple look. Yeah, this isn't picking up too well with a brush, so I'm just going to go in with the finger. This is a gorgeous kind of dual chromey color. I must say I enjoy Cosmic Brushes multi-chromes and dual chromes, and this one is no exception. Clearly I can't do makeup and talk at the same time. <laughs> but I'm going to put this gorgeous khaki green color under the eyes. Another thing that is important to many people who start YouTube channels, and I'm no exception, is that we want to connect with like-minded people. So 
like many others, I also don't have a lot of people who are as interested in makeup and colorful makeup and new products and all of that in real life. So I want this to be a place where I can connect with like-minded people who have similar tastes, who have similar interests, and we can, you know, discuss about those things, which is always fun. And although it hasn't been that long since I started my channel, I've already had people comment and reach out to talk about some of the things happening in the beauty community or just even the products, what they like, what they don't like, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. This pink is my favorite color from the palette. And funny thing is, I'm only going to do an inner corner highlight with this. I don't mind. So, what's the mission and vision of my channel? I want to be able to provide product reviews, of course, but I am working on becoming a very mindful consumer, which means my channel will not be focused on buying the latest products and just reviewing them. I want it to be much more than that. I want it to be a place of inspiration. I want it to be just plain entertainment. Something you can watch when you're free and just have a good time, you know? That is valuable as well. The goal for this channel hopefully is to be able to do this full time one day so I can create all sorts of content. I have so many ideas. My mind is bursting with ideas. I've seen some people run out of ideas lately because they've been doing it for a while. But for me, since I've just started, I have a lot. I have lots of lists in my phone, in my diaries in my books where I write all my ideas and it's a lot. It'll take me years to film if I start even full time. So that is where we're at but I haven't been able to dedicate as much time to it as I want because I'm not getting compensated for it. If I were there would be a lot more content, a lot more varied content Right now, I'm only focusing on products that will become kind of irrelevant very soon, so I want to get through as many of them as possible. And after I'm done with that, I will go on to the more creative side of things, you know, makeup experimentation. That is going to be a series on this channel. Then I'm going to do some nostalgic makeup which will feature collections and interesting things that we may have in our collections from the past and we can find new ways to use them or just get inspiration on how to use them. I think that is important for the ordinary consumer because not all of us are influencers and getting PR or buying stuff constantly so it's important to use the stuff you have. It's important to use that stuff and also feel a little inspired by it, you know? So I haven't added any depth to this look as such. And I'm thinking, should I? I think it's okay to try one more. Let's do this interesting rosewood shade. Just a little hint of depth towards the outer corner. Another thing that I wanted to mention was that I want my channel to be customer focused always, which means that I will be talking about brand reviews, brands as a whole, how they present themselves, what their selling strategies are, what their business practices are. But what this will not be is an invitation for drama, for petty things. You know, I've seen firsthand that some people thrive on conflict and I don't consider myself to be one of those people. So I want to keep it as factually accurate and constructive as possible. When I say something negative about a brand, it's only because I want them to do better. 
it's because I've been a customer or I am a customer and I want them to improve so that they can reach their true potential. I would never even talk about a brand that I wasn't even interested in. So there you go. little depth but nothing too crazy. I felt like what was missing from this look was one of those deeper brown shades. We have a few neutral shades in this palette so I wanted this look to really represent the character of this palette which will be achieved if we have one of those neutral deeper shades in the outer corner in my opinion. In terms of belief systems I personally don't identify with any cultures or large groups or belief systems, so I would like to leave that out of the conversation, if you will. Broadly speaking, I believe in doing no harm and being good. That being said, I would like this channel to be focused on the makeup, the products, business practices, you know, experimenting with makeup, all that sort of thing. So occasionally I may choose to opt out of conversations that do not involve any of the things that I just mentioned. Let me put on some liner and mascara and then we can zoom in and see how the look turned out. So this is how the look turned out. I think this is beautiful. I must say that I prefer this eyeshadow palette over the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights palette, which I did a video on not too long ago. Let's zoom in and see how this turned out. While you observe this eye look, I want to say a few words about the Muse palette. The matte formula is very buildable and beginner friendly in my opinion. The shimmers, especially the multi-chromes, are very high impact and shifty. I am also a fan of the color story. It's earthy, but it's interesting. The Cosmic Brushes price points are not bad either, so overall I do recommend this palette. Also in case I forgot to mention, if you see a lot of pink on this channel, it's because pink is my favorite color. It has been my favorite color since I was born. So you can imagine how amused I am when I see everyone wearing pink in makeup, in fashion, dressed in pink going to the Barbie movie. Yes, I am having fun with all the pink. Now, if you have stayed this long, I will be introducing you to my two beautiful children. Hold on, let me get the first one. So here is my firstborn son. As you can see, he's of the feline species. His hobbies include napping in the sun and searching for snacks. He's also a very anxious little boy. He knocked off a bunch of the things from my makeup table in his attempt to escape and I'm having a hard time holding him. Even though he looks peaceful now, he was struggling. He's the sweetest boy. Okay, you're all done. You can go. Oh, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay. Time for the second one. Hopefully this will be easier. This is my second son. He is younger. He's smelling his paws to make sure he's presentable for his human. He's the sweetest boy. He's also a huge foodie. His hobbies include playing fetch, going on long walks, and having treats. Treat to your treat. Treat. He's saying yes, I want a treat. He's looking for them now. Uh, careful. Careful, baby. He's a chihuahua. But he's a big one if you can't tell. He's a large chihuahua. 
Love you. You're free to go. There we go. That is all. I hope you had fun watching this. You got to know a little bit about me and my pets. Hopefully this video would have explained the why. And if there's anything I want to add to this, which I'm sure I will remember tomorrow or the day after, I will make another video and update you as we go along. If anything changes about the channel and that sort of thing. That is all for now and I will be back soon with other hopefully interesting content. Bye now.